Okay, so the, I'm just going to let this video play here uh, quickly, and then um, we'll run it back and talk about it a little bit. This is actually the day before the 2016 uh, Olympic quarterfinals in the 100 meters. Um, it's Andre de Grasse closest to us, and Akeem Haynes and, uh, on the other side. Both Canadian sprinters went on to win medals in the relay there. Obviously, Andre also medaled in the 100 and the 200. Uh, Akeem had, at the time, a personal best of 10.15. And Andre, I think, his personal best at this time was 9.92. And what we see here is a really good example of two very different solutions. Obviously, Andre is a little bit faster than Akeem. Akeem's also ran 6.51 in the 60. So, you know, quite a bit faster than Andre uh, in the 60 meters and is a, you know, a quote-unquote better accelerator. Akeem's a really good example of a, you know, what we call a type A athlete. An athlete that will bias more towards force production concentric strength abilities and pushing so he spends you know maybe a little bit longer on the ground but applies significantly higher forces over the course of that time than say a guy like Andre you can see that sort of play out here so a little bit less range of motion a lot less happening on the front side sort of more anterior chain dominance for Akeem relative to Andre now if we watch sort of Andre go through, he's a, you know, a very typical sort of type B sprinter. Very good at transmitting force. You know, so his, you know, his eccentric strength abilities are really, really high, but his contra concentric strength abilities are really quite poor, actually. You know, it's um, where Akeem is a really good pusher of things. Andre is a much better puller of things. So how that may play out, for example, in the weight room, is we did, you know, we worked towards more pushing exercises with Akeem and more pulling exercises with Andre, who's significantly more elastic. So we did a little bit more elastic work with, with Andre, a little bit more sort of force generating work with Akeem. Obviously, that doesn't mean that that's the totality of their programming. That's just what we work towards. We typically work towards an athlete's strengths. So earlier on in the season, we may spend a little bit more time working on the things that they're not so good at. And later on in the season, we'll be doing the things that they are really good at that make them feel real good about themselves that they're comfortable with and very confident in. So this time, this uh, time of the year here, obviously, right at the end of the competitive season. The athletes here are doing things that they're good at generally.